Hey everybody, this is Joe Jaguar. Welcome to my channel. Like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, what this is today is this is the Celestron Nexstar GT telescope, and it's on go to night. GT meaning go to. Okay, basically what it is, if you watched my other video that's what is a good beginning telescope, I talk about the 80 or 90 millimeter is a good start. I also say if you can get into this range, the 4 inch size, in an achromat telescope, even better. So what this is, is it's not an achromatic or ED or the fancy ones that uh, my other videos show. This is just a, uh, a achromat, it's a doublet, it's a 4 inch 102 f 9.8. So it's going to have very little false color on the planets and the bright stars, the moon, that type of thing. I'll give you nice, uh, nice power with most eyepieces. Um, and the mount is what they call a go-to. So once you align it, uh, do all that stuff, it will actually find stuff for you. Now let me just plug it in to show you. So with the hand control, I can just, you know, manually slew up and down, which is great. But again, once you align it, you can actually find stuff with it. Um, this guy comes with a red dot finder and a 45 degree um, diagonal. Now the 45 degree diagonal is more for the daytime viewing. Um, when you look upwards, you're going to be really low, like looking really low. So at 90 degree would be better for nighttime. So um, and it comes with a two inch focuser, which is great because usually in this class, they give you an inch and a quarter focuser. So this one you're getting a two inch focuser. Of course, if you want to use two inch eyepieces, you have to upgrade your diagonal to two inches before you can use a two inch eyepiece, but at least you have that option. Um, that's it. Just wanted to show you what this guy was. Four inch F9.8 refractor on a uh, go-to little mount. It's very light, portable, uh, so this could be great for teenagers, adults, um, type of thing. Uh, it's going to have very little false color on the bright stuff. Um, lots of power uh, per eyepiece, being that it's long and not short for that. Um, of course, it's not going to be a wide field of view. It's going to be slightly more narrow, but you're getting more power out of that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this uh, video. Um, I, I will make another video why I don't think go-to's are the best sometimes if you're brand new into this hobby and this would be your first telescope. It sounds like a go-to um, might be, you know, it's the best for everybody as the manufacturers all claim, but it's not. You've got to learn a lot of things and over the 10 to 15 years since go-to is becoming, you know, widespread, uh, so many people buy them, but they don't know how to work them. And uh, like, for instance, this guy was only used one time, and I picked it up, the whole thing, for 100 bucks Canadian. I really just wanted the mount for one of my other OTAs or scopes, so that way I can have a lightweight go-to um, type of thing. So it was because I guess the person couldn't figure it out, uh, which happens a lot. Uh, people think, you know, being go-to or with you know, the com computerized, it's just going to do everything, and it's not. Uh, if you don't know your basics, you're going to get lost in that procedure, and you might then sell this thing for next to nothing like I did, and I picked it up, and I'm going to enjoy the mount um, type of thing is what I really want, but this is a nice size refractor for quick views of the planets and stuff like that. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a good starter telescope, this could be it. The four inch size with a go to portable uh, mount uh, has basically everything that you need. Also comes with a little case. Uh, let me show that to you. Celestron gives you, which I was kind of surprised. So it's a five eye pieces in a little case. Uh, unfortunately, when I looked, they're all Huygens eye pieces. I mean, they're inch and a quarter, but it's basically the bottom of the line, inch and a quarter. That's bad. It's too bad. Uh, they did that, should have gave at least the uh, modified Acromat or the SMAs or, you know, s the Super Set IP, something like that would have been a little bit better than the Huygens, but besides that, it's the only thing that I don't uh, like. The only other thing I think that I'm not impressed with, and they could have done a little better, is that if you look front, I don't know if you can see that, 
but the lens is practically about three inches from the end of the dew cap. Now, it should have extended a little bit further out, and the reason is, on days that it's very humid outside, especially in summer days, uh, you know, most countries like that, that lens is going to start to do or fog up because it is so close to the outside. Again, hopefully you can see that. The lens is right there. The edge is right here. Should have probably been out to here another four to six inches. Uh, I mean, you could you could buy a dew cap for that. You can make it out of cardboard, do that as well. You just have to extend this hood another four to six inches, and that would be okay for, uh, you know, that, that, that would be fine. Anyway, hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.